Dear Lord, we thank you for the gift of life today. You allow us to have another day to praise you and see your glory. Thank you for the love and protection, especially this time of pandemic. Bless us, Father, with your wisdom as we begin our class. Help us to focus our hearts and minds on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we think and listen. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. Lord, we thank you and let your will be done in us. We ask all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Good day everyone, I'm Ma'am Angela Gachalian and I will be your technology and livelihood education subject teacher for this quarter. And our topic is all about basic facial care. After studying the lesson, you should be able to define the structure and functions of the skin, appreciate the benefits of applying the basic facial care, value the importance of maintaining healthy skin, and apply hand softening product and massage according to prescribed procedure. First, we need to know what is the meaning of hygiene. Hygiene is from the Greek word hygieia means health. In Greek mythology class, hygieia means a goddess considered to be the guardian or personification of health. Hygiene is the practice of keeping yourself and your surroundings clean, especially in order to prevent illness or the spread of diseases. We have two types of hygiene. First is personal hygiene. It can be defined as an act of maintaining cleanliness and grooming of the external body. While environmental hygiene classified into two types. First is domestic hygiene. It means cleanliness in your home. Second is community hygiene. The cooperative effort to bring greater health and prevention of disease to a group of people living near one another. Your skin is the largest organ in your body. A healthy skin reflects a healthy body. The skin is made up of three layers, the epidermis, dermis, and subcutaneous layer. A good habit that maintains and improves your health can also be good for your skin. Follow this tip to keep your skin looking attractive and healthy. Eat a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein. Drink 8 or more glasses of water throughout each day to hydrate your skin. Exercise to improve the circulation of oxygen and nourishments. Get enough sleep. This means 8 or 10 hours each night. An early morning habit of drinking water or lemon can help eliminate toxins and prevent constipation. Make a conscious effort to relax and avoid stressful activities. Avoid excessive intake of fats, sugar, and salt, and also avoid drinking alcohol and smoking cigarettes. Cleaning, toning, moisturizing, and conditioning are the best skincare. And also use sun protection every day. What are the different skin types? Normal is a term widely used to refer to well-balanced skin, while dry skin is a condition associated with the skin not having enough moisture content. It can cause by a dry climate, winter weather, or severe deficiency of vitamin A. And oily skin happens when the sebaceous glands in the skin make too much sebum. Sebum is the waxy oily substance that protects and hydrates the skin. However, too much sebum can lead to oily skin, clogged pores, and acne. While sensitive skin is the term generally refers to skin that is more prone to inflammation. The cause of the inflammation may differ for each person. People with generally sensitive skin have local reactions to chemicals, dyes, and fragrances present in the products. 
and lastly the combination skin it's simply having oily skin in some areas of your face and dry skin in other areas typically class there's a mix of oily and dry areas on the different parts of your face with a t-zone which includes forehead nose and chin now let's proceed in the basics of daily facial care why do you have to take care of your face just simply because your face is the first thing you show to others and if you don't wash your face it becomes dry and the excess dead cells that would normally be washed away get stuck to the skin causing it to look gray and dull and also use toner to remove any last traces of dirt and it cleanses the skin removes any excess oil and maintains the skin's ph balance while moisturizing your face helps to protect the skin's barrier from irritation. It also helps to reduce the development of dryness. Lastly, conditioning the skin day and night to restore the acid balance on the skin. Facial Exercise and Massage Facial exercise involves repeated voluntary contractions of certain facial muscle group. The effectiveness of these facial toning techniques in improving appearance has been scientifically proven. What are the benefits of facial exercise? It strengthens the muscles in your face, reduces the appearance of wrinkles, increases blood circulation, and releases any tension in the face and neck. Now watch and follow the short video demonstration about basic facial exercise. Let's learn the 5 basic facial exercise. Number 1 is why to small. It's just like saying ooh and e. Number 2 is long to small. Open your mouth big and pout your lips. For number three is massage. Just gently massage your cheeks clockwise or counterclockwise. It depends on you. But remember, gently massage. For number four, tongue turning. Place the tip of your tongue against the hard palate of the rope of your mouth just above your top teeth. Then move your tongue clockwise or counterclockwise. Lastly is the shoulder rotation. With your arms at your sides, bend your elbows 90 degrees, then rotate your shoulder clockwise or counterclockwise depending on where you are comfortable. Repeat those facial exercises two times a day for 50 seconds for better result. We have three methods of facial massage. The massage technique Petrissage is applied using pressure to the target the underlying deeper structures and to compress the muscles. While Effleurage, it is a light friction technique commonly used to begin a massage treatment. And it also a massage technique in which long, light strokes are used over areas of the body. And lastly, the Tapotment. It is derived from the old French term tapir, meaning light blow. A massage movement consisting in striking with the side of the hand. It is usually with partly flexed fingers. Now, watch this video demonstration about basic massage movements.
follow these tips for a successful massage and the habits that make a successful massage therapist include a clear style of communication, proper technique for client satisfaction, positive mental attitude, diligence, and effective time management. For massage safety precautions, just remember the following to give a facial massage safely. Never massage when you have sharp and long fingernails. Never massage over any red swelling areas like pimples and acne and when there are cuts on the face. And lastly, never break contact with the client until the massage is finished. For stretching activity, your task is to assess the skin type of your family members and list your findings. For example, the name of the person assessed is my name and my skin type is normal skin. And your recommendations for me are wash with soap, free cleanser, dry gently, and use moisturizer. For show you know, just open your technology and livelihood education book from page 250 to 251 for your reference. And for your second task in show you know, just answer the following questions. For summing up, put a check mark on the blank before each number if the statements is true and put a cross mark if not. For beyond the lesson, your task is to record yourself while demonstrating the basic facial massage in one of your family members, 5 minutes minimum and 10 minutes maximum. Attach your output in your Brightspace Learning Management System or BLMS account. For the reminders of submission, first, for online students, all requirements and modules activities must be submitted in your Brightspace Learning Management System or BLMS account. Second, for special areas namely Balibago, Pookan, Tinugbok, Suha, and Bigo, all modules will be submitted to assigned teacher or employees in the area. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned a lot and you will finish your activities before the deadline. If you have questions or clarifications, just message me in Viber and see you next week.